Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you a demo of a page of project in J2E and it's available in JSP and Sublet and for the backend it's using MySQL and uh, deployed over the Tomcat server so I'm going to run it so in case if you have this project and you want to run it just right click here at the root folder go to run it and then on the server select the server as a Tomcat click on finish automatically it will launch it over the browser okay uh, if you take the remote support that uh, you will get the project in this condition in your machine at your machine also let's talk about more about the front end for the front end technology it's using jsp html and css and bootstrap and uh, to manage the dependencies using pom.xml maven dependency it's following the mbc architecture so bean is their controller model all the MBC architectures is there also for the backend purpose is using MySQL database under the MySQL database for the connection it's using JDBC so uh, for the Java it's using Java 1.8 so let's move to the front end and check what perform what the what uh, uh, roles are there different roles are there and what are the performance of the application so here we have a registration page sign up page for the new customer so these customer can sign up uh, and all along that we have a sign in page where the user can sign in if you review the user table just right click here select the table you can see the multiple roles are there one two three one means always will be admin two means will be uh, always a shop owner or restaurant owner or third will be a customer so let's log in as an admin first then see what admin can do then we'll move one by one uh, to uh, uh, owner and uh, shop owner and customer so i just enter the username and password for the admin now what admin can do admin add and admin can add a new restaurant owner let's suppose you are a restaurant owner and you want to add a new restaurant order you can add it from here so let's enter first name last name login id let's suppose i'm entering some dummy data you can enter the valid data at your time so password Okay, I just sent uh, press enter. Okay, wait. Demo three. And to repeat the same email ID again. Ten digit valid phone number. The number should be start from it or seven or uh, else like eight or nine. So I'm gonna just upload some dummy images that I have, I guess. So Okay, should be in desktop, not in a picture. And a desktop, simple images, simple images. Okay, so I need an image for food, so I'm gonna select this one. Click on the save. Uh, mobile number is already registered, so I have to update the mobile number. So I'm just using some random number. Okay, the number should be 10 digit only and again I have upload the image so at this time I upload another image click on the save data saved successfully now I can check restaurant on a list restaurant uh, on a list under the on a list you will see the newly added owner so under the on a list we can perform the delete and edit operation also for this uh, owners again we have add restaurant so uh, we recently added our owner under this owner we can add a new restaurant so suppose i uh, enter a restaurant over there so i enter a number enter the city name enter the rating let's suppose a five rating choose an image so i again choose a dummy image over there for the restaurant so i let's suppose i choose this burger image description address save data is saved successfully under the restaurant you will see newly added restaurant here the image will display in some time it will sometime it will take time to upload here this as i refresh it will display now what uh, this is the role of uh, admin so now what um, restaurant owner can do uh, let's log in as a new restaurant owner <coughs> that be recently added so you can see here the role id 2 is here and this is a uh, restaurant owner so this is a login id and this is the password so i'm going to just enter this login id here 
and this is the password so demo at the red one two three is a password so i just enter the password click on the sign in button i can see uh, i have a category so i can enter a category in my in my uh, as a uh, shop owner like for suppose if i have some category of product so i can add a category i can check the order list whatever the order i got in my shop another thing i can add a new page so let's suppose in this category that I've recently added, I enter the page of pizza name, price, discount, let's suppose 20% discount is there. <coughs> I choose the image uh, for that particular uh, pizza. So I don't think so. I have a pizza image. Okay, for dummy purpose, I'm uploading this image. Uh, click on the description, click on the save. So here we have a pizza that we recently added. Now, uh, if someone uh, like uh, the price is MRP is five sixty seven days after discount is four five five uh, days. Now, yeah, but like uh, as a restaurant owner, you can add a new category of uh, uh, pizza. You can add a new pizza. You can check the list. You can perform the edit uh, delete operation on it. That's it. Now let's log in as a an user and see what a user can perform over there. So role ID 3 will be for the user only. So I'm going to log in with this user. <coughs> this is the user. Customer123 is a login ID. And the password is 123. So I just logged in there. I can check the pizza list. Uh, so if I want to order this pizza that we recently added, I can click on the order and i can enter the my details if i just enter the detail click on the finish you can say fully or uh, fully ordered is, uh, is successfully ordered so now in the pizza order list i can check the newly uh, ordered things over there okay so also i can um, perform the search operation by category or by the food name my profile change password is here and logout option is here and that's it uh, there is a home page so when you uh, lo launch the application it will redirect to the sign up page when you click on the home page it will display like this this will be a welcome page so thank you if you need the source code you can connect with uh, code one team and don't worry about the configuration and set up all this mysql database and the front end thing so the support team is there to help you to integrate the project in your id and the project will be work same as source in the demo here uh, so they will allow you to uh, complete configuration they will connect it with you via zoom or any desk to set up the complete project at your machine and it will work same as source in the demo thank you